Hello everyone, um, this is the first activity that you're going to be doing during my absence. Um, a very important thing to remember is that today at the end of the class when you finish doing what I'm about to explain, you're going to send the file with all the information and the graphs to my email. If you don't send it, that's going to affect your grade and I expect those files to be sent by the end of the lesson, not later on in the afternoon, not the next day, but during the lesson so make sure you finish and send that to me and this is what you have right basically it's a simulation where you can shoot different people sometimes different objects um, you uh, sometimes the game is to hit this target but that's not our game today so I'm just going to move it away uh, as I was telling you you can uh, select different objects here I'm going to select the piano and I'm going to shoot it right so you see the piano flying uh, and you can have different things you can have uh, people you can have pumpkins you can have uh, a range of objects you can choose whatever object you want because the uh, results will be the same um, so what the the purpose of this experiment of this simulation is um, to see how the trajectory of the object whatever object it is changes when you change the angle of the canyon here right so we're going to study two things or we're going to be working with three variables first one the angle that you're going to select and we're going to measure two variables uh, those two variables are the horizontal distance that the um, uh, object travels and the vertical distance or maximum height to measure those two we have this measuring tape it has a cross over here and another cross on the other extreme and what you can do to measure distance is just place those two crosses between the like in the extremes that you want to measure so I want to measure the distance between the beginning of the trajectory here and I'm going to measure along that same line the distance to this point not the ground but here so in this case uh, the distance will be let's see will be 18.5 meters the horizontal distance this distance is what we call range in physics um, and the maximum height you have first to see where the maximum point is so let's say it's there remember the cross is what goes in the maximum point and then you take the other one and you drag it down to see what distance you have in this case 15.13 meters those two variables we're going to be measuring the horizontal distance or range and the maximum height um, how uh, exactly is this going to work for? well it's very very simple um, you're going to select your object whatever I'm going to work in this case with a pumpkin which is here and you're going to give the canyon eight different angles there are two ways of uh, adjusting the angle you can just move the uh, cannon to the angles that you want or you can type here the value of the angle and the cannon will automatically reposition itself what's the condition for those angles those angles need to be a total of eight so you need eight different angles and you need mm, to cover a range from zero to ninety degrees you will not use the angle zero you will not use the angle 90 but you will a you will use eight angles within that range so it's your job to make sure that those angles are, are well distributed along that range from zero to 90 once you have selected your angles you just start shooting so uh, let's say one of my angles was uh, 62.5 right so I have selected my um, object which is the pumpkin I have my angle which is 62.5 now the initial speed or initial velocity everyone will work with the same value 16 meters per second so you all need to enter 16 here not a different value because that will make it a little bit difficult and we want I want everyone to have the same value so we can compare our um, results 
um, the mass and the diameter of the object will change according to the choice that you make here so for pumpkin is 5 kilograms <coughs> and a diameter of 0 0.37 meters so I'm not going to change that and you're not got to, going to change that either so select your object um, and this will automatically appear a resistance we will not use it for this for first part okay so uh, you select your angles and you start shooting one of my angles in this case just for the purpose of explaining is 62.5 degrees um, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to um, well first thing obviously I'm going to fire the object to see how it flies now after I have um, shot the object I'm going to start registering the information I sent you a uh, Excel file uh, I need you to go to that file and start filling the information this was just another example so I'm going to erase it uh, and I'm going to erase this one here so you see how it works from the beginning uh, my first angle is 62.5 well it was probably not my first angle right my, my first angle was probably I don't know 5 degrees or 10 degrees and then I increased the angle and one of my angles was this one 62.5 so 62.5 one thing to uh, keep in mind is when you're entering these numbers uh, make sure you use not the not the um, uh, point like in 62 let me just write it here not like 62.5 you see the difference I it needs to have a comma not a point so you can you can do it by using the comma or you can do it by entering all the information with the you know to the right of the keyboard uh, there's a, a smaller keyboard that has numbers so if you use that keyboard even if you use the the point symbol there it will be all right so uh, this value of 62.5 I just entered that with that small keyboard with numbers to the right and it's okay just make sure that the comma appears there it doesn't matter what you use the comma should appear there uh, so my first angle is 62.5 degrees and then the range the range is a vertical a horizontal distance so I'm going to measure that the range is going to be in this case uh, 21.43 meters so I just entered that 21.43 meters and you see how the graph automatically plots what you just entered uh, then you're going to measure the maximum height so I go to the top of the trajectory I place the cross on top of the trajectory and then move the other one to see what the distance was and the distance was 10.31 10.31 meters uh, and you see how this other point appears here this first graph is going to show you how the um, angle uh, affects the range right so you just put the angle you put the range and this uh, graph here will be telling you how these two variables angle and range are related the other graph will tell you how the angle and the maximum height are related right so everything that you enter will be automatically uh, shown in these graphs so that's it you basically go with your eight different angles and you um, enter all the information so you can see how the um, the graph looks at the end after you're done with your eight angles I want you to go back right erase and start doing if you uh, check here it says air resistance no then you're going to work with the same angles that you used here please use the same angles and you're going to uh, now activate air resistance so for my angle of 62.5 degrees that was my angle number 6 so angle number 6 62.5 degrees uh, I fire with air resistance and now with air resistance activated the distance needs to be measured again so I measure that distance in this case is 17.46 meters 17.46 meters and the uh, that's the uh, range and the maximum height in this case was 9.15 so 9.15 meters there you go and you see how 
uh, two other graphs will be produced basically you uh, enter all this information and this graph will look pretty and nice and you will be ready to be analyzed that's what you have to do just um, work with your angles measure the range measure the maximum height first with no air resistance first <coughs> with air resistance and you produce the graphs well actually the file will produce the graphs for you now after you finish uh, you are going to do two things number one you're going to send this to my email okay so you're going to save the file as with a different name it could be just that same name angle range height and please put at the end your name so I can identify each file and you're going to send it to me now for the next class which for some groups is I think uh, tomorrow or well uh, I don't remember how that's going to work but for the next class for the classwork that you're going to be doing you need this information so you either need access to this file right so you bring it print it if you need to print it or you bring it in your laptop but make sure that you have downloaded it before right I don't want people saying that they don't have internet and that's why they can't work right so make sure you have your file make sure you have it printed or in your tablet or in your laptop or in your cell phone whatever but I need you to have it because the next class we're going to be analyzing the shape of these graphs and I'm gonna be asking you some questions about why you think this happened and some predictions about this whole um, experience okay so get to work and uh, finish and send this to my email um, I miss you uh, I hope you're missing me too bye bye